Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to part four of five of the massive Fukushima update. Uh, this should come as a surprise to no one. Now, we just talked about in the last section, look it up, part three. It comes before four every time. Um, in part three, we talked about how th the whole global warming scam can be... Can, you can show how it's a scam. You can show the real science, not the fake science. You can show the real science. It very clearly lays out how man is not warming the planet. I'm not going to go over it again. I went over part of it last time. We've gone over it for 10 years, but um, Bill Gates is getting in on it now. And he's using the global warming scam to go ahead and jeopardize the health and the lives of countless people which isn't a surprise at all for this man. He's supposed to be such a great philanthropist. There's so many people, including myself briefly, long, long eons ago, who thought, you know, he seems like he wants to be a decent person. He had just listen to this. This is your decent person. CNBC, let me get the, we can see the, there we go. Bill Gates, Terra Power aims to build its first advanced nuclear reactor in a coal town in Wyoming. Now, especially with the advent of clean coal, the idea that nuclear power would ever be cleaner than coal is pure stupidity, lunacy, and fallacy. There is nothing at all safer about nuclear than coal. But coal creates a problem with your lungs. So does nuclear. It's called lung cancer. You twit! Terra Power, it says, a startup co-founded by Bill Gates to revolutionize designs for nuclear reactors, has chosen Kilmar, Wyoming, unfortunately, as the preferred location for its demonstration reactor. It aims to build the plant in the frontier area coal town by 2028. So, nobody cares about the wildlife when you're about to send carcinogens into the air. And this is something that happens even when nuclear power plants run correctly in what is called a routine release. This, I'm not even talking about a meltdown or something going red. I'm talking about when they run like they're supposed to. Construction of this monstrosity will be a job bonanza for Camara with 2,000 workers at its peak, said Tara Power CEO Chris Levesky in a video. Great. 2,000 people are willing to give people cancer for the lie of global warming so that they can have a good job. Well, I sure am happy to hear that. That's just freaking swell. You're a great 2,000 people. Next time, why don't you go ahead and invest in something fun like euthanasia? It will also provide new clean energy, my ass, clean energy jobs to the region dominated by coal and gas, which it should still be dominated by because that is safer and more productive. Do you know how much energy it takes from sources that are not nuclear to make a nuclear power plant run? It's ridiculous. It's a zero-sum gain. It's usually a loss. Look it up. Today, a local power plant, a coal mine, and natural gas processing plant combined provide more than 4,000 jobs, a sizable number for the region that has only 3,000 residents. Again, jobs, 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 jobs. You want to take a job to give somebody cancer? Because that's what you're doing. There's no ambiguity here. It's not like I could be wrong. I'm completely right. This is insane. I mean, Auschwitz added a lot of jobs to the local area! Once built, the plan will provide a base load of 345 megawatts with the potential to expand its capacity to 500 megawatts. Yeah, nothing ever goes wrong with nuclear power plants when you do that. China and Russia are continuing to build new plants. Pause. We already know about the problems that China has had with their nuclear power plant in proximity to its dam. We've The world has diverted catastrophe at least twice. So that's, that, that's a great, let's use Russia, let's use China as a good idea. 
China and Russia are continuing to build new plants with advanced technologies like ours, and they seek to export those plants to other countries. So why don't we get the cancer on our country? <gasps> that would be great. It does say that the uh, they're different because they will be the first to use advanced nuclear designs called natrium. Natrium plants use liquid sodium as a cooling agent instead of water. Sodium has a higher boiling point and can absorb more heat than water, which means high pressure does not build up inside the reactor, reducing the risk of an explosion. Yeah, and I'm sure there's absolutely nothing that could limit the flow or access to sodium uh, water as any uh, sodium, uh, I should say liquid sodium, any differently than water. I'm sure there'll be a limitless supply. Nothing could ever go wrong. They're going to have all the, all the liquid sodium forever. It, you know, and if it does blow up, well, you know, it's just a different kind of explosion. That'll be cool. That'll be nice. Also, natrium plants do not require an outside energy source to operate their cooling systems, which can be a vulnerability in the case of an emergency shutdown. Yes, and I'm sure there won't be any seismic activity or anything going on that could ever jeopardize the ability of the sodium to prevent the nuclear catastrophe. Nothing like that could happen. Floods won't happen, earthquakes won't happen, none of that, nope, never. The, this contributed to, of course, Fukushima. Yeah, we know that, Sparky. Um, natrium plants can also store heat in tanks of molten salt, conserving the energy for later use. Yeah, no, no, we just skipped over with the entire last thing I said here. See what I'm saying, friends? Do you see how when you read these with just the smallest bit of common sense, you're like, wait a minute. Well, that's fine as long as you have a continual supply of sodium, liquid sodium. If not, then you're going to have the same problem you had before when you couldn't get the water as a cooling agent. You're just going to have a different problem now because you don't need water. It's not water you're having a problem getting to cool everything off. It's sodium. That makes it much better. This way we can have a problem getting the sodium there instead of the water. That's progress. People make millions of dollars to think of that! I, am, I could kill somebody. Speaking figuratively before someone says it, but you know what I mean. Truth is, I, I say it figuratively, but these people that are waiting to suck up these jobs, they're going to be killing people, literally, and nobody gives a damn. Mindless.